Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be ranking my five favorite Spirit Halloween Pops from this year, because all of them have now officially been released, and that's pretty much it. This, I guess, will contain spoilers, I don't really know, but if you still want to wait for some reason, then just click off this video. Alright, let's get to it. Coming in at fifth place, we have Monty... Which, is that this, like, he's cool. Like, he's fucking insane looking and horrifying looking. But that price, oh. But, it's still, it's, it's a still cool looking ass pop. I like how Spirit's going back to, like, the old school kind of way. I generally don't understand why people are all of a sudden hating Betty Sharp. I am honestly kind of surprised by this one. I mean, it's sinister looking, it's creepy, it's gory. Like, I mean, yes, the face does look like she has a lot of pimples, but, you know, it's still a good prop. This is like a 9 out of 10, because I definitely want to get this to add to my collection, because I do want to put her right next to Mommy's Favorite. Yeah, but she is definitely cool. At third place, we have Reagan, which I'll give like an 8.5 out of 10. Because, I mean, her facial features are f better than the 2011 ones. But it's just because there's not enough like vomit on her dress, like the original one. Her mouth doesn't move, and her catchphrase is weird as fuck. Like, it's like... It's a perfect day for an exorcism. I mean, it's a little funny, but... Uh. I do like, though, when it, like, spins... It's When she spins her head, that the projection shines. Like, that's the cool part. And her neck-cracking noises are, like... Goosebumps. Not really, but it, it just gives you that feeling. But it's still a pretty cool prop. I probably won't get it because I probably don't need another exorcist prop. But if I didn't have the one I have now, I would definitely get this one. Lord Raven. Second place. 9.7 out of 10. This one, like, seeing its video and just seeing, like, how many details it actually has, like, it's fucking insane. Like, this is a very cool prop. Like, I, I like it. Like, the nails, the beak is just very eerie. Like, I like that. Like, I, it would definitely, like, look good in, like, a creepy, like, forest or, like, graveyard haunt. Definitely for sure. Now, before we get to my top one favorite animatronic from this year... Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell and all of that. I usually don't do that, but, you know, I want to have a little suspense before you get to, even though you guys are probably skipping over this part right now, but, all right, it's time. Drum roll, please. Take the cake on this list for the number one animatronic of the year. Everybody, I introduce to you... The Widow. This is a fucking insane, cool ass prop. I was disappointed as fuck, though, when I found out it was an online only, but I am still gonna get it. This takes the cake. This is probably everyone would agree that this would take the cake as the best animatronic this year. Like, I need, like, bro more, like, breaking necks and spine, like, animatronics, like, this one would fit right fucking into my collection. This one takes the fucking cake. Everybody, congratulations to the Widow. And that brings us to the end of the list. If you guys did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another one of my videos. And I will see you next time. Do-do-do-do-do.